Dean, curry should be served traditionally, rustic style. Taking it and turning it into fine dining is always a risk. And I suppose the risk is, does it pay off? That, for me, is absolutely sensational. So mackerel three different ways, great idea. We've got a cucumber and wasabi beurre blanc. We've got the heat of the wasabi and then the cucumber's there to sort of freshen the dish. Interesting, I've never had a beurre blanc quite like this. And it'd be interesting to see how it works with the tartar, with the smoked fish and also the pan fried tail. Oh. You have just 20 minutes left. Sean has a fantastic attitude to the kitchen. He's ambitious, he's brave, and he really does push himself. He's a chef that wants to get stuck in. How are we doing, Sean? Uh, yeah, good. So I'm doing so braised lamb belly. I'm going to pan fry it. Lamb cannon. It's going to be served with uh, pea uh, puree. And then I'm going to do some rosemary chips on the side. Now you're cooking your own food. What is it about this dish that you think is going to better the other dishes we have in this kitchen? My creativity is definitely coming out in the plating. Um, it, obviously, the flavours are there. And then my enthusiasm, my, I, I don't know, the way I look at food, you'll definitely be able to see it in this plate today. There's no room for error with, with Sean's dish. The lamb has to be beautifully cooked. The pea puree, smooth and velvety. The crispy potatoes, seasoned with rosemary. I want to taste the rosemary. And of course, the lamb jus. I wanted to taste of lamb. But this is a dish that is very familiar in its flavors. What's going to set this dish apart? Plating of this dish is a complete risk. It's not your typical plate of food. Um, I think Monica Marcus will probably want to put it on a wall. It's, it's going to be that artistic. So um, yeah, hopefully they enjoy it. <laughs> you have 12 minutes left. Just 12 minutes. This kitchen is smelling delicious. So many aromas. They're all focused. Our chefs look determined to stay in the competition. Are you all right? I'm good. <laughs> you don't look good. A little bit hectic. Um, I've still got a little bit to do before I can start plating. No, it's not. I can't. I can't take it out. It's not set. It's not set. I'm gonna take this one out. Yeah. That one's all right. Take the best ones. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Go. Try. Sean, you look like you're having fun. Yeah, absolutely. Steady hand, Dean. You're getting there, Chef. You are getting there. Last 20 seconds. Your time is up. Sean's semi-final place rests on his cannon of lamb, served with braised lamb belly, which has also been pulled and stuffed into confit shallots, alongside a pea puree infused with bacon, black garlic puree, sun-blushed tomatoes, a lamb jus, and rosemary chips. I think that's as pretty as a picture. Looks to me like a bit of Jackson Pollock. The lamb is nice and pink, love it. I really like the pulled lamb that's in the, the shallot. And then, of course, as you're eating, you've got this lovely light garlic flavour from the black garlic underneath it. I love the belly. I mean, look, you give me fatty lamb, I'm a really happy man. The cannon cooked very well, but it just hasn't got the same flavours and excitement as the, as the belly. Rosemary chips, I'm struggling to find rosemary flavour in there, but they are delightful chips. The sauce has not got the depth of flavour of lamb. It's not as good as I thought it would be. Okay. But the undertone of this dish that makes it work for me is the black garlic. It really brings a different dimension, and the sweetness of those lovely tomatoes are fantastic. It's a really nice plate of food, Sean. Honestly, I think the feedback was fair, and he said it was a work of art, so um, what more could you ask for? So it's good. <laughs> 
Luke's dish is variations of mackerel, deboned and sautéed tail, oak-smoked fillet, and cucumber wrap tartare topped with caviar. Served with a cucumber and wasabi beurre blanc, roasted nori seaweed crisps, and ice plant leaves. It's beautiful. Listen, I don't think it can be easy to get three different flavors out of mackerel because it's such a strong fish, but you've managed it. I love the one that's wrapped up in the cucumber cannelloni. It's got a little bit of pickling. The smoked one is just heavenly. And the tail that you've boned, that tastes to me, and I don't mean to be rude to you, that tastes like a really good tinned mackerel. I think that's properly lovely. The simplicity of this has also got a lot of work and detail in it, but it's very harmonious. It eats well, it's delicious. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, like Greg. A wasabi beurre blanc for me, it shouldn't be with mackerel on a dish like this, but it certainly does work. You really have showcased a lot of skill, great flavour combinations and good control. Well done, you. Thank you. I never thought I'd get good comments like that. Such a sigh of relief, really, and it's um, my heart's still racing from it. Whee. Lawrence's whiskey oaked smoked dish is teriyaki glazed quail with roasted and pureed sweet corn, pickled shallots and girolles, whiskey caramel and Riesling wine sauce, served with a quail tart made with the offal and confit legs, topped with crispy chicken skin and sweet corn espuma foam. I love the barbecue effect. I love the smoke under the dome, the theatre of that. That's what restauranting is all about, the show. The showman. Really like the way of cooking off the quail. It's nice and, and, and pink. And then the, the sweetness of the sweet corn puree is divine. Really like this tart. A nice way to use up the offal of the quail and the leg meat as well. However, you've got that espuma, sweet corn on the top, a nice flavour in itself, but it's masking the offal a bit too much for me. But this plate here is just divine and different. The sauce is delicious. The Riesling, I've never had a, a Riesling sauce like this before. The creaminess of it, it's fantastic. I like your ideas, I like your dish. Yeah, I'm feeling good. The comments were, were, were pretty good. I want to be a semi-finalist, like, more than anything right now. <laughs> Dean's halibut has been topped with turmeric spiced courgettes and crispy coconut langoustine, accompanied by a black beluga lentil dal, tomato and red onion kachumba salad, carom seed puri bread, mango chutney, minted kefir yogurt, and a goan curry sauce made with over 10 herbs and spices, including tamarind, chili, and ginger. Dean, curry should be served traditionally, rustic style. Taking it and turning it into fine dining is always a risk. And I suppose the risk is, does it pay off? That, for me, is absolutely sensational. I think you have captured every flavour that I look for in a going curry. The fish is beautifully cooked. I love the presentation. I love the freshness of the little cucumber on the side with the shallots. There's so much to like about this dish. I absolutely love it. That langoustine is, is lovely. Those panko breadcrumbs are giving sweetness to it. And of course, that matches the sweetness that's running through your dish here perfectly. The puri bread with the dips is an added joy to this plate of food. And I love this mango sauce you have here. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And if I eat that with the fish, it is fantastic. What a delight. Definitely worth the risk. Super pleased with comments. Um, it's always an absolute pleasure to hear such kind words come of Marcus Waring's uh, mouth. It's just, uh, it's a worldly thing to hear, you know? <laughs>